Happy day, I'm glad. <laughs> and you may remember me from such classics as I was abandoned for being too pretty, and uh, my dad watched me on camera. Just very classy, elegant videos. And I, I really feel like those topics are very 2019. 2020, we want to be allergic to water. We don't just want to be kicked out because we're too pretty. We don't just want to be allergic to normal things like peanuts. We want to be allergic to something that <laughs> I've never heard of in my entire life. Welcome to the topic of the future. Allergic to air. Yes. She's allergic to air! What can you do? Okay, first of all, is that even possible? Allergic to air. Sometimes it's an allergic reaction to something in the air. Okay, I mean, a lot of people have like asthma. A lot of people get messed up by airborne allergens, kind of like my brother, he needs his puffer, but like, apparently this person is allergic to air. This is the new wave. Hi, my name is Ursula and I'm 16. Hi, Ursula. I have an allergy to air. Go ahead and ask how I'm still alive. You won't believe what saved me. Everything started a little more than a year ago. It was an important day. Mum wanted my brother and I to meet her new boyfriend, Josh. Kate, there's always a new boyfriend in all of these videos. Always a new boyfriend. Like, what does that have to, I mean, I guess it has something to do with it. But she's saying that this allergy started a year ago, so thankfully she wasn't born allergic to air. We like that. The summer was especially hot and forest fires became more frequent in ah. my state. The city where I lived was covered in smoke. I was riding home on my bike when I suddenly felt that I am unable to breathe. I fell off my bike and a bout of coughing started. So maybe she's not allergic to like just air in general. Maybe she's kind of allergic to the air quality. Cause I've definitely been in places like when I'm in LA and when I'm in Malaysia, like the air, I'm not allergic to it, but I can definitely like feel it and see it on my face. Like I have a very reactive body. So I mean, allergic to air, slightly hyperbolic, but this is starting to make sense. How would you feel if you unexpectedly started suffocating? I became very afraid. Some strangers ran up to me. It was then I felt that I was unable to speak. My tongue swelled. Ugh. They called 911 and I was quickly brought to the hospital for analysis. This is how I found out I am allergic to air. How can this be? How can this be? So what I am really allergic to is the impurities in it. Oh, well, well, thanks for the late breaking news. At least she let us know at 57 seconds in the video. This is a channel called Dory's Story and it's definitely cuts to the chase a lot faster than Share My Story. I didn't have any bouts of coughing at home because we had a special air cleaner. I had to switch to homeschooling. Um, I actually have a Dyson air purifier and like, I think that it works. I think it works really well. I saw a guy like fart into his purifier and like <laughs> the toxins went up by a lot. And every time I cook, it goes from like, a level three, which is like one of the lowest, to like a level 174. So it's definitely picking up something. I want to fart into it. Mom's new boyfriend, Josh, was quite strange. In the mornings, he would leave for work and soon after come back and sit in his room for a long time. Is Josh poisoning the air? I bet Josh is poisoning the air. I bet he's like farting into jars and like opening the jars on her while she's sleeping and maybe filming her too, who knows? What kind of job did he have? He told mum that he worked as an artist, but sometimes he gave her a lot of expensive presents. I then noticed how he would ask mum for some money. She was so happy with him that it was impossible to suspect him of wrongdoing. I mean, maybe he's like a rich artist. Maybe he's like secretly Basquiat, Banksy, who knows? My friends occasionally came over, but their stories made me really mad. And though my mum and brother supported me, I became depressed. My condition worsened with each passing day. It does suck that she had to homeschool from that. But then he appeared. Tori. He saved me. You think he was a knight in shining armor? My new boyfriend? No. He is a cute golden retriever. But why did my mum suddenly decide to gift me an old dog? Ends up she and Josh found a special dog for me. If you're allergic to allergens in the air, then I feel like getting a dog would be a bad idea, unless it's one of those really expensive hypoallergenic dogs, in which case, where are they getting all the money from? Thing is, Tori is trained to give warning about allergic attacks in advance. Imagine oh. that. Before that, I had no idea that dogs were capable of such things. Me I neither. It. The dog really could smell changes in the blood and warn me of an oncoming allergic reaction. Oh, I love service dogs. But such dogs cost a crazy amount of money. Even though I got clickbaited just as hard, this is a lot more realistic than share my story. <laughs> to be in front of my mom, but she said she had been saving money for a long time and is happy that these savings will help me. It was so great to hang out with my friends after sitting at home and being sad. I had a special set of medicines I needed to take in case Tori, through his behavior, were to indicate I would soon have an allergic reaction. 
Okay, I gotta figure this out. Allergen detection, dogs are a thing? You learn something new every day! That's sick! I learned something from a story! Tori became everyone's favorite until a misfortune occurred. No, what that happened? Day, Josh took a walk in the park with him, not far from our house, while I was doing homework. He was gone for a long time. When he came back, he was covered in no. bruises and blood. And without Tori, he said no. that he was attacked by three men and beaten up. They for kidnapped a dog? Tori and drove away in a minivan. Of course, the dog was very expensive, but who could have kidnapped him? No one knew how expensive he was. We started searching. We told the police and put up signs. I put information up about Tori online, but he wasn't found anywhere. What? Why would, okay, do people stay? <laughs> Sorry. Purebreds are often stolen so they can be sold. Disabled people with service animals might be particularly at risk? What's wrong with people? Josh started often disappearing during the evenings. I thought he would be ashamed that he lost Tori. I was so wrong. What I found out put me in a state of shock. I decided to talk with Josh. I came up to the bedroom door and accidentally overheard his phone call. I heard him say, I will give you all the money back. I already gave you the dog. Oh. Okay, so I think the dad got the mom expensive presents because like he got involved with some shady people and was like, can I borrow money? And they confiscated the dog because he couldn't pay them back. I mean, that's pretty obvious by now, but like still, it's kind of, kind of fun, kind of interesting. Which means Josh was the one who stole my Tori. What are you I gonna do? I barely stopped myself from screaming. I couldn't believe it. She's gonna what punch him? What if there him? was a good reason for it? I needed to start following Josh right away. I couldn't leave the house and asked my brother to find out where Josh goes to in the evening. Oh, loyal brother! Ends up he was going to a bar in the center of the city where he played poker for money. Oh it was no, a popular was place where a bunch of urban criminals, pimps, and gamers met up. So gamers. we found out Josh was one of them. When we told mum everything, she yelled at- You gotta watch out for the gamers. <laughs> They're gonna come and get your money. Of course he didn't admit anything, but mum believed us and called the police. He was released quite quickly, as we had no evidence other than my witness statement. Josh forever disappeared from our lives, but my Tori was never found. Oh no, Tori! Mum promised to sell her car in order to at least be able to buy me a regular dog. Could you even sell a service dog? Like, I feel like you'd have to do it like on the black market, because like, aren't they microchipped? I feel like that like a dog would be a very hard thing to kind of like traffic. But I don't want anyone other than Tori. I still hope someone will find him, as they will surely try to sell him. Maybe one of you will see a dog that looks similar to him, and you could write a comment letting me know. Please share this video. Oh, I like that. Although, that like last video that was there, I wish I never met Billie Eilish because she ruined my life. <laughs> Next up, allergic to winter. I'm Clarice, and I'm 24 years old. How often do you buy stuff you don't need? Oh, I mean, not too much, but... You know, it happens. We're gonna watch this at 1.25 times the speed. I'm a complete shopaholic and I want everything that money can buy. But just see what- Wait. It said every winter I get this, but the thumbnail said I'm allergic to winter. But just see what my love of shopping dragged me into. I've never had to work. I married successfully right out of college. Okay, what's with all the gold diggers in these stories? This is my husband, Calvin. His career developed so rapidly that I decided to devote myself completely to making a home and to beautiful things. And but shopping. everything Great. collapsed overnight. Two years ago, a large company invited my husband to work in Dubai. The conditions were very generous and Calvin was thrilled. I was as well, from his salary. But whilst he worked hard, I was lonely. Okay, so she's a gold digger, but it seems like she loves him, which is okay, I think. I had whatever fun that I could. I bought Prada and Chanel. The local shops became my oh, best friends. Retail therapy. I just bought things out of boredom. Have you ever done that? Stop asking me if I've ever done it. What do you want me to do? Yeah, yeah I have done that. <laughs> like, please. Use me as an I hate this woman button. <laughs> Wait, I don't think there's winter in Dubai though, so you're fine, right? The company that my husband worked for was involved in an international scandal. Oh shoot. Calvin was extremely nervous because he didn't know anything about the supposed fraud, yet he said that he may have to go on trial. I was terrified, and two weeks later we flew home. 
Kelvin had managed to keep his freedom, but his reputation was oh, ruined. Oh no, oh no. She's coming home with no money into the winter, and she's allergic to that. This story has taken a turn for the worst. I was already thinking about how we were gonna have to eat out of garbage cans, penniless, eating ramen from a- Sell all of the Chanel bags that you bought. You wouldn't get as much as you paid for, but like if she sold like all of the shoes and the bags that she bought, then she would easily be able to eat for a year. But unexpectedly, one day a company invited my husband to work for them. Only it was in the coldest part of the entire country, Alaska. Oh, we didn't have a choice, that's and so we how it happened. There. The cold was terrible. Outside the window of our taxi, I looked at the snowy heaps. I feel like living in Alaska would like low key be fun. I, I I do this weird thing where like I Google like different places to live, and the other day I was like looking. I think I was looking up like Iqaluit in uh, like up north. Is it like Northwest Territories or is it Nunavut? I don't remember. It's Nunavut, and uh, it just it seemed very messed up there, and you get paid more for living there. But the cost of living is a lot higher because it's a lot harder to like transport stuff out up there. So maybe it's gonna be still hard for them if he makes more money. I don't really know too much about Alaska though. Calvin went to work almost immediately and I was left alone. At first I watched a movie and ate some fresh expensive strawberries. Why does she have to talk about how expensive everything is? Like why does she have to say fresh expensive strawberries? It reminds me of like this friend that I used to be friends with who's like really insecure and like every time I hung out with her she'd be like, oh, this is my new expensive thing and i'd be like cool <laughs> awesome to escape from the boredom i walked to the nearest store for some warm clothes oh the humiliation on the way there i started to feel bad my skin itched probably from the frost i began to walk past shop windows but all the things they had were awful this is really interesting because like you feel bad for her because she's allergic to the winter but you also hate her because she is such a diva. It really does drive engagement, I will say. I found a couple of suitable shops and went to go inside one, but the sap didn't let me in. A vile. Vile? Why would you call somebody vile? Jeez. The woman blocked the entrance and said that people like me couldn't come in. Can people you imagine? Like you? I demanded an explanation and she showed me a mirror. Oh! Oh, she got owned! <laughs> You're not allowed in here. Why? Take a look and see. That's why. That's a really dirty mirror, sorry. It's vile. My whole face was covered with huge red spots. I had turned into a monster. You're probably sick, maybe contagious, the saleswoman contagious. shouted. <laughs> you can't come in here, go to the hospital. I felt like an outcast, sobbing. I quickly called Calvin and went to the hospital. They told me that it was an allergy to strawberries, of which I had eaten too many. I was prescribed medication and instructed to remain on bed rest. What about the winter? Whilst I was at home, strange things began to happen to my husband. Kelvin not only came home later and later, but also started to work on the weekends. He literally collapses from fatigue when he gets home. Oh, he's working so hard. He must be cheating on me. And she thinks he's cheating! I decided to follow him on the weekend <laughs> to see whether he went to work or to another woman. Kelvin left for work on Saturday and I immediately went after him. It quickly became clear he was not going to the office. That <gasps> douche, I knew it. There had been terrible snowfall on the street and I was afraid to lose sight of Calvin. But just then he pulled up outside and went into a nearby building, one with no sign or writing outside it. I watched out of the window as my husband reemerged a few minutes later, telling no. something to a red haired woman. Who is this red haired woman? She doesn't really look like, I mean, can you really look like something? I don't know, but she, she kind of looks more like a real estate agent. Looked at him in such a way that my blood boiled. I opened the door, rushed over to him, but instead of screaming at him, I began to choke. Kelvin took me to the hospital straight away, my oh, face no. covered with red spots again. She is allergic to the winter. The doctors did some tests and finally found the cause of my condition. I was allergic, but not to strawberries, to snow. Can you imagine? How? Okay. Fungus under the melting snow can cause sneezing, coughing, and burning eyes. Like, it's as if everybody who has the rarest conditions in the world are writing into these sites. It's either that, or these guys are just like ripping these stories for views because like I saw one that was like, I was born without a face. I'm pretty sure there's only one girl who was born without a face on earth right now. Or maybe not. Maybe there's like a few and they're all writing into Dory's story and share my story. So one snowflake falling on my face was enough to cause a reaction. This what? was a special rare type of aquagenic itching, which manifests from icy water and frost. It looks like hives, but blisters in places as well. Ow. I feel a burning sensation when touched with severe itching as well. Remarkably, in the entire world, only 5% of people suffer from this disease. Well, approximately. Moreover, it's completely uncurable. Honey-based medications can only help relieve some of the symptoms, but the disease is stuck with me forever. Okay, I will say, I'm very cynical, 
But the Dory story stories, the Dory story stories are far more believable than the share my story ones because she actually is like going into like what the problem is and like quoting stats. And it's so funny how something can be like, maybe it is fabricated, but like when somebody quotes stats, I'm more likely to believe it. And like that maybe that's on me. I think that's a bad thing for me. And did I mention you can't allow yourself to feel nervous? The stress only aggravates it. Once the doctors had left, my husband reassured me, calm down, she's just my boss. It turned out that she had entrusted him with an important deal, due to which he had been working so hard. The office had been a subsidiaries, but what really caught my attention was the news that an impressive bonus awaited Calvin. Oh my goodness, all she cares about is money. I desperately needed to drown out the stress of my allergy by buying new things. Just at least stop. Online. But my happiness at the foreseen shopping spree did not last long. One evening, Calvin was in the shower, and a strange text popped up on his phone. Can't wait to see you tomorrow. Have fun, stallion. Okay, if somebody calls your boyfriend stallion, then that's kind of a mess. Unless it's another guy, because sometimes guys have like those really close bromances and it's really adorable. But like, if someone said to Terry, like, have fun stallion, I'd be like, excuse me? <laughs> it's kind of weird. The text was from his boss. Mm -hmm. I opened his phone and saw a bunch of similar messages. He had been cheating on me all this time and considered me a complete idiot. I mean, all you care about is money. Like, I'm not justifying the cheating. Cheating is always wrong. However, all she cares about is herself and shopping and money. What does she bring to this relationship other than that? Like the happiest she can be, it seems, is when she's spending money. And it, it seems like she doesn't bring much to the table other than that. And he should have broke up with her, but maybe he's a coward and he took out his boredom on her in a, in a more sketchy way in cheating. I decided to remain silent for now and catch the lovers in the act. Why? The next day there was heavy snow, but I had no choice. I covered myself from head to toe and went after Calvin. Oh, she's gonna show up and be like, why would you cheat on me? With her face just like covered in blisters. Well, I guess that they were doing it right in the office. I made my way silently inside and outside one door, I heard laughing, groaning, and really? Calvin's voice. No. I burst open the door and nearly fell in shock. My husband was actually dressed- Get out of here! What is this? What is- <laughs> Sorry for screaming, headphone users, I'm sorry. What is this? This is worse than cheating. Look, she's got a fat stack of money in her hand. What is she doing making him, like, is he this girl's gigolo? And his boss was riding him. No. It was so disgusting that I screamed at them and called them perverts. I slammed the door and rushed home, not even stopping to wrap my face. Because of the snow and the stress, my body was covered with hives. Pain pierced my body like a fire burning through me. It hurt so badly. I cried and decided to leave Calvin. Oh. Who are you gonna mooch off of now? He explained that he had regularly arranged those sorts of activities for his boss, but hadn't ever cheated. There was nothing between them. His boss loved weird costumes and activities and paid very well. Hey, okay, I just don't know. Like either, but where could he find a job with his reputation that paid that kind of money? I didn't want to believe it, but then he showed me videos with other employees involved as well. Videos? How is this boss like making it in the professional world when she like makes her employees play horsey? I don't want this woman to ride my husband or for him to allow her to, but he is getting paid so much money. Are you okay with it? With it, I can buy expensive things. No, she's okay with it. Reluctantly, I agreed to allow their games to continue, but I still think that maybe it's wrong. What do you think? <laughs> Stop. Don't ask me what I think. I don't think it matters. Okay, so hypothetically, if you were allergic to the cold, I feel like you would have like a lot of a story to tell about like your experience and like the alienation and like your trouble like making friends or maybe like the ease making friends because people feel bad. But like, if you like wrote your share my story, would you really write about how your husband is playing horsey with his boss and like how addicted you are to money? How is your self-awareness so low that you would just openly let the world know how much of a gold digger you are. Even the gold diggers I've met like deny being gold diggers, but like this girl is like, ah, it's animated, I'm anonymous, let's just let them know. If it is true, then that's hilarious. And if it's not true, that's hilarious. Because somebody in an office wrote this. <laughs> I'm like, this is gonna get some views, yeah. <laughs> well, guys, what do you think? I'm <laughs> just kidding. Obviously this was supposed to be just like a silly fun video, but at the beginning when the girl was talking about how the allergens in the air from the bushfires were bothering her, it reminded me of what's going on in Australia. We as a team decided to donate to help out the animals uh, because over 500 million animals have died in the 
fires in Australia, but I'm going to leave a link down below so you can choose the cause that you want to donate to in regards to the fire because like the firefighters, the charities, the organizations, people, there's a lot of help that needs to be given out right now and like even a small donation can go a long way in times like these. So if you could find in your heart to donate to help, then that would be amazing.